How's it going out there, YouTube land and also on social media lands? Welcome to an all new video. In this video, we're going to be doing a trailer reaction to the upcoming Hulu release film and a reboot to a 1980s classic. So, we're going to get right into that. Before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss this video and the other videos that I put up. As always, people, if you enjoy my content here on YouTube, definitely check out my other social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Rizzle, all those great places. I pretty much post on a regular basis, so definitely check those out. As always, people, let's get right into this! So, welcome one and all to an all-new video. So, like I was saying before, we're going to be doing a trailer reaction to a reboot remake of a film that came out in 1987 that was brought to you by the great Clive Barker called... Hellraiser! Yeah! Hellraiser! Yeah! So, Hulu is dropping a remake or reboot of Hellraiser on October 7th, and is, I guess, basically loosely based on the original film, and given a whole new twist and all, kind of a little bit of a new idea. Now, all those that were wanting Mr. Doug Bradley to return as Pan and of course, unfortunately, we did not get him to be in this film. Uh, we are actually having Pinhead being played by a woman this time around. And I was actually a little skeptical, but after seeing her in the trailer, uh, her look and everything, she looks actually pretty cool, and so I'm looking forward to seeing what she brings to it, even though I really like Doug Bradley as the amazing Pinhead. Now, of course, in the original film, Pinhead had very little screen time, so it'll be interesting to see just how much screen time the Pinhead in this film actually gets. Now, this trailer seemed okay, seemed interesting. Uh, definitely, you know, we'll watch it and see what it's all about. Uh, I, unfortunately, didn't really care for the original film. I didn't think it was that great. I thought it was okay. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what they change, what they bring to this new reboot remake, and see just what they, you know, can do with this. Now, from the trailer, it looks like it's going to have some really great, you know, Moments. It looks like it's going to have a lot of great scares. It looks like it's going to have some really good action. Lots of blood and gore and stuff like that. The uh, Chenobots bites look really cool, what I've seen in the trailer as well. And it looks like they're keeping with that great, you know, original look of what they looked like in the original s films that they made back in the 80s, 90s, and so forth. Now, a couple of se key sequences that I thought were the best part of the trailer was definitely the introduction of Pinhead you know, herself, talking with a guy's voice, so I'm not sure how that's working, if that's, you know, still supposed to be, like, kind of sinister menacing, but yet they're having a woman play the character, so I think that's kind of, kind of threw me off a little bit, but at the same time, I thought, this still sounds cool, and at the other point, though, I thought, I thought it was really cool how they had br brought, you know, Pinhead in, and gave that really kind of long walk down the hallway a little bit. It, like, all of a sudden, he pops up, Pinhead pops up, and starts walking, and then it comes, and then it, you know, kind of cuts, and then comes back. And you see, like, kind of like a side profile of Pinhead as they're walking down, and you can see kind of, like, all the stuff around the, uh, you know, their body and how it's, like, you know, skin, you know, kind of, like, being torn and all that kind of cool stuff. So, I mean, Pinhead looks really cool, I think, that they did a good job with that and that, you know, this, uh, the actress that is playing Pinhead, she looks really cool in all the prosthetics and stuff as well. Uh, another key sequence I thought looked really cool was when they showed some of the other Chenobites too as well. Like, there's a really great scene. It, like, flashes and all of a sudden a few of them are walking out from wherever that building is that they're in. You get a d very different looking uh, puzzle box in this film as well. They changed it up a little bit. It's not your just basic square box that they used in the original. You actually, the first like couple scenes you see it, it almost looks like an obelisk. It, it's like very narrow and long, but I think it shape shifts and everything. So Because throughout the trailer, you get to see it in different types of forms and stuff like that. So I think that was kind of an interesting idea too. Not sure how much I like that, but you know, after maybe I see it, maybe I'll feel differently about it. But overall, like I said, the trailer looks interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to checking out when it comes out, out October 7th and see what it's all about. And uh, I have high hopes for it, you know. Like I said, I didn't really care for the original. I thought it, that could have just been a better film. I know a lot of people love it. I, I just didn't think it was the best thing ever. I thought several of the other Hellraiser films were better. And uh, I just think that that one's a little overrated, I feel, that very first one. 
Uh, but overall, like I said, I think this first trailer looks interesting, looks fun, and like I said, looking forward to checking it out. Hopefully, it gives some really great film and gives us a really great reboot remake that you know we'll be talking about you know 100 years from now. So, if you haven't seen the trailer, definitely go check it out now on YouTube. On uh, I believe who has been popping it up, especially with October coming up. Uh, check it out. See it for yourself and see what you think as well. Uh, like I said, looking forward to checking it out when it comes out next month. That is it for this trailer reaction video, folks. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Also, thank you for subscribing. And also, thank you for watching. You guys rock. But if this is your first time here or you have been here before, don't forget to check out any older, newer videos that I've not might seen of mine yet. And always, people, if you enjoy my content here on YouTube and want to show support, definitely check out my links down below. Either from my Patreon page where I do outtakes, bloopers, extras, and stuff like that for my subscribing patrons, definitely check that out. It really helps, and also you get a lot of cool extras. Plus, also... If you are a patron of mine, you do get to say what I do next for a review and all that kind of stuff. So definitely check that out, too, as well as an option. Oh, yeah. And as always, people, if you enjoy horror films, especially since this trailer is about an upcoming horror film, check out the awesome Horror Pack, where you get great horror films right to your month for a great low price. So definitely check that out, too. As always, people, catch you in the next one.